Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at our first Sponge plugin. So if you don't know what Sponge is, it's an alternative jar file to using Bucket or Spigot, and it has some benefits and disadvantages to using them. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at the Universe Guard plugin for Sponge. And this plugin is very similar to WorldGuard. You can protect different areas, you can have different flags and lots of other different things that we're going to get into today. So to start off, let's look at some examples I've made. So on the right here, we have a red region. And if we go inside of it, we will see that water does not flow at all. But if we go outside of it, water flows as normal. And you may have caught the message that we get greeted with if we go inside. And as you can see, all we need to do is just pop water down and it will not go anywhere. If we put it down right next to the region, it's still going to flow, as you can see here. And that's the sort of thing you can do using the flags command, which we'll look at a bit later on. So next we're going to look at the yellow region that I've made. And if I were to de-up myself and try and go inside, we will not be able to place any blocks or use the chest. So I've added a couple of flags to this one, but we can, however, break blocks such as a chest or the sand. Um, so that's pretty cool that uh, we can still do that. So let's go ahead and make our own. So we're going to use this blue square that I've made. And what we're gonna do is type forward slash RG to get the one, similar to world edit. And we're going to left click one corner, right click the other. Now we've created a 2D region, but if we want to make it 3D, we're going to need a couple more commands. So I'm going to make it about three blocks high and make a staircase to go up there. And if we do forward slash RG expand up and then the amount in blocks, we can do the same for down. So let's do five, for example, uh, that will expand the region three blocks up and obviously five blocks down. So if I build one more stack, we can see how it changes a bit later on. So once we've done that, we can give it a name by doing RG name and then blue, and it will change in the box on the right. And then we can do a few more things. So we need to do four slash RG set spawn followed by some coordinates to set the spawn for our region. Um, and you can just grab the ones in the box on the right. And then we can do four slash RG set teleport and use the same coordinates if you want uh, to set the teleport location. So we'll look at those commands later. Um, but now we are going to do four slash RG greeting followed by a message. So hello, welcome to blue, for example, and hit enter. Then we're going to do the same. So four slash RG farewell message and we are going to just write see you later. Now that we've done all that, we could add flags, but we are going to make sure we save it. So if we do four slash RG save, so you'll notice that the box disappears once we've saved it, and you can see that the welcome text and uh, farewell message appear and disappear depending on if we jump inside or outside the area. So let's go ahead and edit our region now by doing four slash RG edit and then blue. The box will pop back up and we can add flags by doing RG flag, flag again, and then hit tab and it will give you a long list of all the different ones we have. So there's things to do with XP, mobs, PVP, hunger, etc. So you can pick whatever you want. Let's go with item pickup false and add a couple more. We can add um, enter to false so nobody can get in and then we can do PVP false as well. Now, if we were to save it and then try and get in, we can. Why is that? Well, because we're up of the server and we can do anything. So what I'm going to do is de-up myself again and show you that if we try and get in now, it will not work at all. So we will be pushed away and it will not let us into this area. So this could be quite useful if you've got um, maybe an area in spawn you don't want people going into. You can just highlight it and then add this flag and then no one's going to be able to get in apart from ops of the server. Even if I try and jump on top or over the region, it will still push me away and make sure I don't go inside of it, which is really good. So earlier we set the spawn and teleport coordinates, but if we do four slash RG spawn and then for example, red, it's going to teleport us there. And then if we do four slash RG TP red, it's going to teleport us to the teleport location we set, very simple. The final command we're going to look at is the RG effect add command. And then if we choose any effect we want, so health boost, hunger, blindness, weakness, etc., and then the amount, it's going to give us that when we go into the region. So let's choose 10, for example. Obviously you need to be editing the specific region, so blue, when you do this, 
and then it should work really well. So if you want to check out this plugin, go to the GitHub link in the description. It's not on Bucket or Spigger, it is separate. So you can download it from here. It's got lots of information about commands and how you set things up. Um, if you need any more help, you can obviously contact the developer. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.